All right, let's just have a look at the comparison between the traditional federal focus uh, scanners with uh, different uh, methods of data collection and the actual blink uh, scanner. And what I want to do here is just compare the data sets because everybody's going to be asking what is the quality between one and the other and what are the differences. So what I did here was I went into, it's a very small project, so uh, obviously there's going to be plenty of other comparisons, but I thought I'd share. This is a very small mechanical room that uh, was scanned three times over a succession of about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, just because we, you know, uh, did a couple of sessions here. Uh, I did uh, eight scans with the blink scanner here. I believe it's eight. Oh, actually, I take it back. I guess it's seven of them. There we go. Seven scans here with a blink, uh, six scans with Ferro flash on a premium scanner, and then five scans with just the internal camera without the external camera on the Ferro focus. Uh, premium scanner again. So from a perspective of registration, they all registered to one another, the registration between them, you can kind of see the, the worst tensions are in uh, com uh, combination with a blink scan. So the blink scans are definitely looser, they're a little bit noisier data sets, hence you can actually see six hundredths of an inch uh, uh, inaccuracy or tolerance over here, 600s between a standard scan and blink again, scan to scan. These are again, that's a blink data set, 500s of an inch. Then you have another blink here that's 500s of an inch. When we start comparing, comparing data that is non-blink related and just the individual, you know, premium uh, focus scanners between them, you can see that the just the tolerance actually drops by maybe a factor of three over here. You can see that that's almost factor of three. It's not quite, but uh, around there. So it is about three times more noisy data. Now to quantify and just uh, visibly see that, what you can do is maybe cut a cross section across this uh, pad over here and uh, just have a look at it. Uh, let me go here and we'll visualize it. So the first thing that you'll notice are these weird bands of uh, points and these bands are indicative of the way that the actual blink scanner scans. You can see that it is, it, it's not an overall uh, scan that gives you the best uh, perspective here and there's actual like a little bit of a pattern there. You can see that it's kind of bowed. But these by no means are bad. The, don't get me wrong, this is not. It's just that when you're comparing data that is fairly flat from a scanner perspective and then overlaid over top of a blink data set now you're realizing oh yeah it's actually a little bit smoother with a focus scanner so but this is one way to kind of view it it's not quantifiable enough to be uh, something that you need to kind of worry about here you see the little bit of an overspray this overspray is not as significant as a uh, uh, visible with the uh, focus scanners. So notice very, 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 very tight. Again, flash or no flash, both data sets are well within, I mean, two hundreds of an inch apparently. But uh, with Blink, you can see that the, the, the noisiness is actually there. There's a little bit of an overspray here. And that's, again, just uh, the, the nature of the actual scan data. You can see that it's not super, so we're, we're nitpicking over here, right? So this is not absolutely uh, the most accurate data set from that perspective, but it's not supposed to. It's really more of a visualization tool with a nice data set or with a very nice um, uh, scan information behind it. So look, we have an actual cross section here. And again, let's, let's just uh, give it a try. So. You can see that this is the actual data set that was captured from the blink scanner. This is the hard data set from the focus scanners. So you see edging edge data collection is not as uh, significantly uh, accurate as you would get from a focus scanner. Let's do this. Let's do a little bit of a quantification on this thing. So hold on. Let's 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 do this. Let's get we are in the smallest. Yep. So if uh, that's the noise that the blinks blink scanner brings in 
let's just do a measurement here, quick measurement from here to here. So we're talking vertically six uh, hundredths of an inch in spread versus what we look at if we go invisible here and we'll do the same thing, but we'll do uh, the measurement between that, you know, I mean, obviously it's going to be less. So this is where we'll be looking at it, except, yeah, it's a uh, two hundredths of an inch here with the actual focus scan data spread here. So again, that's not by any means uh, to, to deter people from using Blink. It's, a, I think, a very uh, a, a valuable tool that allows you to do very quick data collection in an environment that uh, otherwise would have to be done with a scanner and that requires a lot of you know effort into actually a lot of effort actually increased effort into making the data uh, you know visible making it uh, registrable over here with the predictive scanning and predictive registration on the app oops I keep zooming in where I didn't mean to but right here a lot let's again look at the actual seams in the in the uh, mortar between the bricks, you can see that we don't have much data here. You can see how much variation there is in the Blink data sets. And again, just for fun, let's have a maximum deflection value here. So let's go from here to here. Horizontally, well, it's a lot, but I don't obviously know exactly. Hold on, let me make the slice a little bit skinnier. That way we'll have a better horizontal understanding between, between the data sets. Here we go. I don't want to go too skinny, but let's give it a try. So here we go. So here's the actual data set from Flash. Here's the data from, data from no Flash, kind of in line with one another. Here's Blink. There's a little bit of a deviation there. Again, I'm not super surprised, but let's go from here to here. Vertically, I missed it apparently by 200. Horizontally, we're at 800 of an inch. So that's well within the, the, the actual tolerance, but you can actually see the data being a little bit of a wavy pattern over here. So this is what you can expect out of Blink if you're looking for those millimeter accuracy. Uh, your Ferro Focus Scanner is still the tool to beat uh, in the same uh, range of actual scanners that um, uh, Ferro makes, but Blink for its ability to do really quick scanning and actually give you a quick visualization is, I believe, amazing in the 20 seconds it gives you this kind of visibility, whereas if you have, uh, let's do this flash, I believe, here we go, let's do view, quick view, same position, it's slightly worse imaging it's a little bit oversaturated it looks like it but again same same areas over here you can see yet uh, when we do this with the internal camera on the scanner without using the external camera well needless to say there was not that much light there so this was non-hdr imagery from the internal camera this is hdr from the external camera and then this is the hdr from the blink so Again, it's pretty good visualization tool and a, a pretty good scanner. Over here, this is, uh, I would imagine, maybe a slightly better image, pixelated, more grainy, but definitely finer scans. And then over here, this could be nicer pictures if we didn't use non-HDR imagery from the internal camera. But again, this is where the blink scans took 20 seconds, the flash scans took 30 seconds, and then this scan took three and a half minutes to actually capture. So hopefully this uh, uh, video gives you a little bit of an idea of what the comparison between the uh, tools and maybe the settings are. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below.